Hi, this is Sonia Doucette. In this video, I'll show you how to calculate Ka from Kb and vice versa. The first part of this problem tells you that the Kb value for ammonia is 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. You're asked to calculate the Ka for the conjugate acid of ammonia, which is the ammonium cation NH4+. The Kb value that's given here represents the balanced chemical equation where the ammonia base accepts a proton from water. So that equation is NH3 plus water gives you NH4 plus the conjugate acid of ammonia plus the hydroxide ion. The Kb equation or the, the equilibrium expression for this reaction is the concentration of ammonium multiplied by the concentration of hydroxide divided by the concentration of ammonia. And we know that this Kb value is 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. In this problem, you're being asked to find the K value for the reverse of this reaction, where ammonium transfers a proton to hydroxide. So the reaction would be NH4 plus plus the hydroxide ion giving you ammonia, which is what's left over after ammonium transfers a proton to hydroxide plus water. So you're being asked to find the Ka value for this equation, which is the concentration of ammonia divided by the concentration of ammonium multiplied by the concentration of hydroxide. So the important relationship to know here is that Ka is equal to Kw over Kb. I won't re-derive this relationship in this video. So all you need to do to solve this problem is to divide Kw, which is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th, by the Kb value that you're given, which is 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. And when you do the math there, you get your Ka value, which is 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10. So notice here that the Ka value for ammonium is much smaller than the Kb value for ammonia. And this tells you that ammonia is a strong base in that its conjugate acid is a relatively weak acid. And that's what's expected for a relatively um, stronger base. The second question in this problem tells you that the Ka for nitrous acid is 4.5 times 10 to the negative 4. You're being asked to calculate Kb for the conjugate base of this acid, which is the nitrite ion NO2 minus. So I made a mistake here. That should say conjugate base. So the first thing to realize here is that the Ka value that you're given is describing the acid dissociation equation where nitrous acid is transferring a proton to water to give you the hydronium ion plus the conjugate base of that acid, which is NO2 minus. And Ka expression here is the concentration of hydronium over the concentration of nitrite divided by the concentration of nitrous acid. And we know that's equal to 4.5 times 10 to the negative 4. In this problem, you're being asked to find the K value for the reverse of this reaction, where nitrite is acting as a base and accepting a proton from the hydronium ion to give you nitrous acid and water. So that equation is just the other flipped around where the products 
are now the reactants, and the reactants are now the products. And the equilibrium constant describing this expression is Ka, sorry, Kb, is equal to the concentration of nitrous acid divided by the concentration of hydronium ion times the concentration of nitrate. So this is the value that you're trying to find, this Kb value. The important relationship to know here is that Kb is equal to Kw divided by Ka. So you can take 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th, which you know to be Kw. You're given the Ka, which is 4.5 times 10 to the negative 4. If you do the math here, you're left with 2.2 times 10 to the negative 11, and that is your Kb value here. So notice the Kb for nitrate is much smaller than the Ka for nitrous acid. So this is telling you that nitrous acid is a much stronger acid than nitrate is a base, and that makes sense.